Hey guys, it's me Falco, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the new Arachnomancer revamp. Uh, overall, the change has been to basically turn it into a dodge soloing type of class, which I think is pretty good, rather than a support class for what it was before. Um, but besides this, let's start. Okay, so to actually get the class, you'll come to Ravenloss and you'll talk to Riadne. If you go to Ravenloss Rewards, it's here uh, for either ACs or you need rank 10 and 100k. Rank 10 in Ravenloss you can get from either doing this quest here for the legend uh, rep quest where you kill the Weaver Mage medallions and all the Weaver Mages to get the medallions. The next one I'll show you is the non-member. You can come here to Twilight's Edge for the non-member, talk to Riadne again and do Slay the Spiderkin for 450 rep. Also I think you can turn in Swag Token A's. The next thing we've got is the enhancements. Obviously I'm in the museum. If you come over here, I think that full look on this class is going to be best in my opinion, because obviously you already have 100% dodge, so stuff like them, it gives you minimal increases to anything. Um, two of your skills, your fourth and your fifth skill, do take 10 and 20% of your health, so health that may be useful to you. However, you can heal as well, so maybe something like Spiral Carve would be good. However, I'm also using Lacerate. Okay, before we start, the class has been moved from a full hybrid to a full damage or full physical damage type class, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, let's go over the class abilities. So your first thing is going to be spider bite, that's going to be your auto attack. Now instead of a regular auto attack, if you have venom fangs active on the opponent which comes from your second skill, it will now heal you which is pretty nice. Your second skill is now venom fangs. What this does is basically decreases your opponent's dodge chance by 30%. However, it applies venom fangs for 4 seconds. It can't be stacked however, and it will increase your dodge by 70% for 1 second. So if you see here, you'll see me heal hopefully, there you go. Your third skill is going to be Slingshot Web. What Slingshot Web will do is that it will basically apply damage over time for 10 seconds and also the lower your health, the more damage it does. It also applies Arachnid's Grace again to yourself, increasing your dodge chance by 70% for a single second. Your fourth skills had quite a lot of change, especially with the cooldown being reduced by 26 seconds and like 20, it's by 17 mana I think, sorry. Uh, what this is going to do is going to take 10% of your max HP as you can see in the top left and instead, it will uh, double the amount of damage your damage over time does. So if we apply 3 for the damage over time and then apply 4, you can see that it does 296. Um, that's because it's just increased overall. Your fifth and final skill is going to be Toxic Adrenaline. What this will do is also take away from your HP, but this time double that amount of 4. So it will take 20% of your max HP as you can see in the top left, which is quite a lot. Um, however, it will double the amount of damage the enemy takes for 12 seconds. I'm not too sure if this stacks with damage over time, however we'll see later. Just for some quick testing there, I'm pretty sure it does stack with damage over time. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fight the Doom Overlord. What I think you should do when you do fight with this class, is obviously try and keep your 4th and 5th skill active, however, you don't need to keep them active all the time in my opinion, especially if you're struggling with HP. Um, however, do try to keep your 2 and 3 on rotation, uh, for around the 1 second cooldown it is, for the 70% dodge boost, just to make sure that you're over 100% as much as possible. And uh, either way, I'll try and show you what I mean when I fight the Doom Overlord. I'll speed it up and uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the fight over with. As you can see at the end, my health went really low. That's because I was trying to use my 4th and 5th to see how high I could get the DOT from the 3rd skill. And the highest I saw was around 3k, which is really nice. Um, it also stacks with the DOT you have from your 2nd skill, I think. Which is uh, another like 900 hit. Which is around 4k overall, which is really good. Um, overall, survivability, really nice. Obviously because you have a 100% dodge chance. However, like I said, 
Don't use your 4th and 5th skill if you are struggling with health. Make sure that Venom Fangs is up as much as possible and that you're rotating to keep your 100% dodge up. Um, Venom Fangs, as I said, it doesn't stack. However, uh, when you use it, it still keeps up so you can heal yourself. And um, yeah, you have like a 10% haste boost as well from your passives, which is really nice. Or I think 15. I'm not too sure. Either way, there's no true combo, but I do like to start out with the 5th and then the 4th skill and then move into like 3 and 2. Um, you can start out with free, however I like to get my heal up as soon as possible so I go 2 first and then it's basically rotating between 2 and 3 as much as possible until those get uh, the cooldowns turned off. Okay we're in the Celestial Arena, what I'm going to try and do is fight the ranks and then I'll be back. I'm going to speed it up and I'll show you the time in the bottom left and uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Okay, as you can see, the fight went pretty well. Uh, overall, once again, try and make sure that the most important part of your skills are keeping your Arachnid's Grace, which is your 70% dodge boost, up as active as possible. Also, keeping Venom Fangs up as much as possible, just so you get a constant heal from your auto attack. If you do struggle, like this, uh, this fight is kind of a bit more intense than the Doom Overlord with uh, damage wise so maybe something like health vamp would be a bit better however your time would be slower um overall though i think it's really nice for soloing it's a lot more reliable than some classes i've tried before and uh yeah it's definitely a really welcome change for the class okay we're in dark world legion and i'll just show you the class and what it can do um overall i think it's not the best for farming as, as you can see like you're relying on damage over time and not really much else uh, it's a bit difficult in my opinion. Uh, it's It's got the range kind of for a couple of the skills, like your third skill's got long range, your fourth skill however is short range, and your second skill is long range. However, the damage isn't really there, so I wouldn't use this to farm at all. Okay, so my final thoughts on the class. Honestly, the changes they've made are really welcome to me. I think the fact that it's been changed into a dodge class now has been really good. Um, it wasn't bad beforehand, however. Uh, I just think now it's a lot more useful to at least solo players, which is what the game is kind of leading towards and has led towards for numerous years, just solo play. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a mid-game soloer, I'd say. Definitely not super late game or like mid-late game, possibly early late game at most. But uh, mid-game, you know, it's pretty decent. If you can grab this, I would. Um, but yeah, overall, I think soloing wise, I'd give it maybe like a a B plus like it's not too outstanding maybe just a B however it's not terrible as well it's a lot better than some classes I've tried beforehand uh, farming wise I'd probably give it like a C minus not great uh, it could be worse it could be definitely better it's single target so you're not being as fast as possible and you're just better off choosing a better class in general for farming and um, yeah overall though uh, once again it's a really good change I think you should pick it up if you haven't already or if it's just sitting in your bank just try it out it's a lot better than it was beforehand and uh yeah i think that's going to be it for my video uh thank you for watching if you do like the content please subscribe i hope that you all have a good day good night good evening whatever time it may be for you and i'll see you guys next time bye